Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my Huang Shao Let's Play for Three Kingdoms Total War. And we had a very exciting last episode where we took on Louis Bay and his forces and actually ended up capturing and executing him. So Louis Bay is gone off the campaign map, and we now have, I believe, uh, Gong Lanshu, who has stepped up to the plate to lead his clan, I guess, or tribe, I'm not sure, it, probably a clan would be more accurate uh, representation, but uh, she does still hold on to this level 4 city and the iron mine. I did try to push with Huang Xiao to take the iron mine, but they've got a pretty solid force still holding there, and the iron mine garrison as well is pretty good. You can see they've got some really solid uh, cavalry there, which I just don't feel I'm strong enough to take on at this time. Hopefully, we'll take a little bit of replenishment and then try and bait them down into a land battle and then push on from there. But I will send Pei Huanxiao next turn to deal a killing blow on Wang Lang here. And then we will push for his temple. And it looks like he does actually have a city as well, but I can't actually see it, so it must be further down uh, to the south here. Uh, if we're looking at China this way. Yeah, so uh, he probably has some territory down in this direction, but I think it would be good to eliminate him. Uh, I would like to see, again, if we can peace out with uh, Louis Dao, or Dei. So let's go ahead and go to diplomacy here. Uh, the quick deal for peace is really nice. I am thankful to those of you that have told me about it so that I don't have to physically go through every one of the candidates so it looks like yeah everybody's going to say no to that at the moment which is fine if we look in the negotiations tab at gong langshao uh if we negotiate with her so we may talk oh do we peace out with her oh yeah we must have peaced out with her oh interesting okay i forgot about that i think just to get her off my back so that i could focus further south which is fine so yeah, maybe we'll just go right after Wang Lang. I would like to push up to this level 5 city, but I just don't think we're going to be able to take it. Let me see if I can see what kind of garrison it has there. And we can clear the characters menu here. Yeah, I can't see what kind of garrison it has, but I mean... We could head up there and see... If we could just maybe siege it down, I'm not too sure. Uh, someone did comment saying that maybe I should dismiss a couple of my characters that are not being used. Which is fair enough. I think that I'm using a couple of these for assignments. So, Bao Zi and Zhu Gan. So, Zhu Gan and Bao Zi. So, Fan Sui here. I think he's the only one I'm not using. So, yes. If we go to the, char or the court and go to the characters menu. Uh, where... Where is my characters? Fan Sui right here. So we can actually just dismiss him from service. Minus 8 satisfaction or just release him from serving you and dismiss him from your faction. I think we'll go ahead and do that because uh, the, the person who commented that made a good point that it should actually save some income because I believe these guys are 100 upkeep per turn. Oh, no, they're not, actually. Oh, interesting. So uh, he had said that they would be causing costing me upkeep, but it looks like the characters at court are costing me zero upkeep per turn. It's just the generals themselves. But I've got all of the generals. Yeah, I've got two generals in with Pei Huan Xiao and then one general in with Huang Xiao. So they're the ones that are co costing upkeep, not the other ones, or the uh, court officials. So he is in Force March. That's a pretty pitiful army. We should be able to take it out. We do need to go for a reform. And I'm kind of considering going for the population growth because we do rely pretty heavily on the peasants' tax. The post-battle loot would be good, but I think we're, yeah, going to go for the enlightenment and the population growth. So let's go ahead with that. And I don't think that there's anything else we need to do at this current time. Yeah, we pieced out with uh, Yan Xiao, so that's really good. And I, as far as I know, he's, this is the only, this is the only territory that Lui Dei has. 
But yeah, okay, so we did peace out with her, so no sense in kind of keeping this army here. How much movement does it have? Not very much, so we'll leave them there for now. And then maybe come up here and see if we can hire some extra... Some extra captains. Because he can get one, uh, one other full captain into his army. And then see if we can just siege them, and then if the garrison pulls out against us, we should be able to beat them on the field. How's the public order here? It's decreasing, so probably need to fix that. I think I think it's mainly from the passing back and forth between uh, what was his name, uh, Louis Bay coming over and taking it, and then me taking it right back has probably caused a little bit of animosity in the peasant folk. But I think that is everything we need to do this turn, which is good. So we sent him home. Well, I wouldn't say he's no longer welcome. We just don't need him at the moment. But let's go ahead and end the turn. Okay, so his army did kind of take take flight there. Not sure if they pulled back to the temple or not. But the rebellion's might is undeniable as warriors rise to fight. Ancillary gain two-handed mace. Very nice. And we got some bonus experience because we have 30 units in total. Very nice. Alright, so with Pei Wan Shao here... I mean, we could go and take this town here, but I think we should get rid of him. So I think we're pretty. Uh, we're not. We're not actually completely. Completely recovered here. Well, I still. I don't know where the faction line is. Might be actually right here. Will we still? Yeah, we're still going to get replenishment there. We could try an ambush. I don't know what the, the ambush strength is here. 60%, so might as well try and see. You never know. But we should actually be fully healed next turn. Or pretty close to. These two are a little bit slower, but we could actually recruit a couple more units as well. But as I said, our income is looking not the best. And we also have a little trade fleet over here, which could come over here and hit the trade port. Uh, but our garrison should be able to defeat that, no problem. Summon the merchants. I would browse their goods. That would get us some extra income. So yeah, let's go for that. I am at one again. Are they going to be really upset if I end up leaving here? Yeah, it's going to be minus seven. So they definitely aren't happy. Steel for battle. Yeah, I don't know if I want to pull away too far to go after this settlement. 5,800 gold to sack, though. That is pretty juicy. Alright, well, let's move over here for now. If there is a rebellion, we can always come back and deal with it. Good, good, good. And... Yeah, 460. That's just not a... Not enough room in the old income there. So we'll just go ahead and leave it for now. So we're trying to get to the rank of healed. And we're working on building that Scholar's Lodge, which should should be coming up soon. Yeah, one more turn and that mission will be completed. And that's going to give us a treasury of 5k. That's going to be extremely useful. She might be coming to betray me. Uh, 
There we go, that's completed, so 5k into the bank. And challenge issued, from secure strongholds, the yellow turbans strike out at their enemies. My lord, we have made great progress in rekindling the flame of rebellion, but still have a long journey before we are at full strength. There are still many oppressed souls beyond our borders awaiting liberation. We should expand and bring them into the fold. Uh, so we need to own the entirety of three commanderies. We've got two in total, and that will give us another 5k. Cannot. Did she declare war on us again? No, she's still friendly. Be the sword. I'm going to come over here and try and cut her off, actually. So if I zoom down, I want to make sure With that she can't pull back or she's going to have to go right around. And I should be within reinforcement range of, of this waver. city. Yes. Good. So with that 5k, I've got to see what I want to actually spend that on. Uh, let's move this this uh, general first here. Serve the people. Or wait, did I already do that? Cannot move. Oh right, I'm in ambush. That's right. Standard studs. Okay. Moving out. I probably want to make sure that I'm encamped as well. Set up the camp. Well, actually, it doesn't. If I'm encamped, it still doesn't give me any replenishment, so let's go ahead and keep moving. On the march. I don't want to take any attrition, though. That's the only thing. Alright, so we could upgrade this to a larger city. Population is still well within range, 800k max. If I upgraded this, would it give me more public order? Would give me an extra build slot, so that's probably a good call. Because these are both large towns. And then with this one here, let's get that up to a small city as well. Because I think, actually, once we get them to small cities, they'll have walls. So that's going to make it much easier to defend. So let's do that. I've pretty much spent all my money, but that's definitely going to be worth it because we're going to have a few more slots remaining. Or sorry, we're going to have a few more slots where we can put things into it. And yeah, if we take this iron mine, actually, we will get another 5k, which is very interesting. So I hope she actually is stupid enough to declare war. Okay, we can see the temple here. Uh, it's got a decent garrison. Archers, Spears, Cav, and then his general. I still think we have him beat as far as the number of men, though. So hopefully we should be all right to take that temple. And then, yeah, we're just going to need to go for the small city, which will have walls, so we might actually have to starve it out. And then maybe we'll turn on Tao Kwan here because he has the farmland, and that, and that will be a whole other province as well. Excellent. So, mission success. Got some buildings. Good, good, good. Uh, we could check the diplomacy real quick, see if anybody wants peace. Wang Lang is like, oh, <laughs> yes, please, give me peace. No. No, 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 no. Wonder why he wants peace. It's kind of funny. As soon as you flex your muscles within their their territory. They're all about uh, treating with you. Oh, she got around me. Dang it. That sucks. I wonder if I went into her territory and raided. Can I raid? No, I guess not. I am at full health. Let's move over here. And then in camp. Five turns until these are cities, too, so. Alright, so let me take stock of what we got. So we've got a full army there. We've got four, eight, ten. Sixteen, seventeen. Here we've got 
6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So it's pretty much uh, bang even. Shout fury! Attack! Says Valiant Defeat. We have inferior forces. So they will not give out the settlement, so let's just starve them out then. If they come out to us on the field, I think Impossible. we should be able to beat them. They've got one unit of cavalry here. Two units of cavalry. We've got just the generals for cavalry, but we've got so many archers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven archers. I refuse. Two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah, so we have more archers than they do. So I think we should be fine there. Should be being the keyword. Excellent. And uh, still dropping in public order here. Yes, it looks like. So we may actually have a revolt here sooner rather than later. But the important part is we keep uh, Huang Xiao close by to deal with that revolt. In fact, I wonder, can I hire a Yellow Turban Captain here? Oh, we're, we've got the retinue limit, I guess. Could hire one My for him. But we, again, we'd have to be in our own territory, I suppose. That would give me a little bit more income, so we should probably save for that next. And how much food do we have per turn? We've got six food per turn. Is there anyone we can sell the food to again? Just to make a little bit of extra money. So, uh, someone did comment saying that I had gave some food to Hei Yi, I believe, but he already had quite a bit of food, so I might have got some more money if I had given it to someone else. Uh, Gong Du I'm at war with. He's inferior, apparently. Oh yeah, but he's the Yellow Turban Rebellion, so that's fine. So, how much food does he have? So, two... Han Fu is very poor. Tal Quan is very poor. Or can I just hover over them to see? N no. Poor. Wan Xiao is rich. Cao Cao is very poor. So what about Tao Quan? Oh, I'm in quick deal. My bad. So. Don't let's see if, if I can give him... Oh, I can't negotiate? With him? I guess not. He's very poor. The middle ground can be reached. Yeah, so it looks like I can only deal with these guys at the moment. Now, he doesn't have very much food, so maybe I can well get a little met. bit more from him. So I can offer him four food. And then request regular payments for ten turns. And I should be able to get, yeah, a decent amount for this. Ooh. There we go. Nice. Take this as a token of friendship. Excellent. So that has helped our income greatly, which is good. And we only have two food, but as long as we're positive, we should be fine. And also, with me... Wasn't I upgrading something at Livestock Farm? Or... Maybe it's already happened, but... This will give me more public order, which is nice. I probably need that in, in this one, though. But I could upgrade that for extra food production. So yeah, plen plenty to do, for sure. But I think we're good. Let's see if they actually sally out against oh, us. We shouldn't so be nice. taking any attrition, but we're not at full strength, unfortunately. But I still think we, on the field, we should be able to beat that. 
But hopefully he sits in there and takes a little bit of attrition, too. Oh, no, he's coming out. Still says Valiant Defeat. I don't know why he thinks that. I think we can beat that. We've got more men than them. Yes, the cavalry is very good. But if, if we focus down their generals, I think we should be just fine. So I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Alright guys, welcome to this very rainy battlefield, and I just have to say it again how much I love the look of the battle maps. Look at these mountains, just absolutely amazing. We've got this open field here, we've got some different colored trees which are very, very beautiful, and uh, CA's just done a very excellent job with the battle maps themselves, I would say. And I love how they have these flags here too, I know I've said that a ton of times, but just so cinematic. But we are ready for battle here. You can see we've already got some forces uh, pushing through the trees here. Now, I think uh, they're just sitting here and waiting until their reinforcements do arrive. So I'm just going to sit here for now. I'm going to wait, and uh, they have to attack me. So if they don't come against me, uh, I am have no obligation of actually going over there to attack them. Now, the balance of power is against us, which is not the best. I mean, I could try and go over there and maybe get some early harass off while they do wait. But I think it's just better that I have this position here. So let's go ahead and fast forwards. Here we go. We're starting to see some movement now. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and put this to play. What I'm actually going to do is divide this into two different groups. So I can have them focusing down the generals, because I think that will affect their morale quite a bit. Now, hopefully they just charge right at me over here, and uh, ignore the fact that I have my two generals hidden over here in the trees. Because their, their task is going to be to hit the archers after the main line has engaged. And Pei Huan Xiao is going to have to do a lot of heavy lifting guarding the flanks with the spears. And again, eliminating that cavalry early is going to be huge as well. Yeah, look at all the cavalry they have. And actually, it's all on this flank. So I'm going to quickly get all of the spears over onto this side. So let's uh, form them up. And then we're going to slide these guys over. Like so get them running. We should have enough time for it. Go, man! Reposition! Okay, so let's take a look at these crossbows because they do have a unit of crossbows. What's their range? Where is the range here? Right here? No, this. Range, 200. So what are the crossbows? 250! Wow, yeah, that's pretty intense. So they are going to outrange us, actually. And well done to the AI actually uh, walking their units so that they don't get tired. That is a good call. Okay, is this cavalry in range yet? No. The crossbows are in range, though. Which isn't ideal. So let's move forwards with them. Cavalry is going to get a little bit of harassment from my archers. Okay, let's bring my units over. Our men have been discovered. 
Wow, they are wrecking my units. We are doing the same. Good, good, good. <laughs> wow. You know what I think we uh, should do with our mainline infantry is kind of move them up to screen my archers. Okay, this one come around the flank. Yep, keep firing at him. Paywan shall be ready to help them out there. Okay, archers start focusing the uh, generals, actually. Crap, this one's going way too wide. Keep pushing out. Okay, so they've gone in. That was my bad. Not paying attention to the archers. Okay, this block of archers now. Focus the generals. And uh, you guys lock and charge. Uh, these guys, they're still eager, so I want to try and stay out of their way. Okay, he, I'm going to let him go in. Paywan Shao. Yeah, the... the Cavalry has been absolutely decimated. Flank around there. Keep firing at these archers. And, oh crap. Got these guys in melee. That's my bad. Spears push in. Yeah, you need to defend those archers so that they can continue firing. Push over here. Stay away from those units. What Quick, power? run out of the way. Run out of the way. Good, good, good. Things are looking very good from our standpoint here. Actually, uh, you stay on them. And these archers focus them down. You focus them down. You stay away. Stay away. Just let them go. You come over here and we're going to do some rear charges. I've actually uh, surrounded them anyways, which is good. But yeah, just keep keep them distracted. That that works out well. Oh yes, we're slaughtering them. Uh, you're going a little bit too far. Stay where you are. All right, come on. Uh, actually, yeah, try and uh, just go after them. the The range on these archers is uncanny, uncanny. Good. Go help pay one shell. Nope. Don't go into melee. Just stand back. And yes, archers. Just continue volleying them. Yeah, they're going to let their archers die. Excellent. <laughs> that so smug. Just ha. Oh, yeah. They're going to get a good charge here into the spears. That's fine, though. Paywan Shao can continue there. Let's get these spears around the flanks to deal with the general's bodyguards. And, yeah, just run them down. And we could get a good actual real rear charge here. Did these guys use up their ammunition? Uh, they have, so they're just going to go into melee fair enough. Archers. Hey, Wan Shao, come back. Got some cavalry that's returned, and you guys into the backs. Yeah, they are starting to kind of fracture me in the center here, but if my spears can get involved. And here we go. This will be a juicy charge for you guys to see. Wang Lang's forces run down by the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Huge, huge hit there. He's breaking, which is good. Pei Wan Shao will continue forwards. This archer unit, let's uh, send him into melee as well. And let's have him charge here. Make sure we lock this general in so he cannot escape. And we'll send Pei Wan Shao to run after Lu Fan. But I think this is Wang Lang himself here. Yes, utter disaster for him. Run down those Saber Militia. And victory! 
Beautiful. Push after Wang Lang. Good. Want to see if I can capture him as well. So let's fast forward. So yeah, we still have 2,469 soldiers remaining, so I think we did very well indeed. And we're still uh, trying to pursue Yu Fan here. I think we might be able to catch a few of them. If we can capture both of them, that would be ideal. Why is he... Why are you letting them go? Well, he's probably going to escape then. That's kind of frustrating. Ah, and he just got away as well. Are we going to capture him? No, probably not. So let's claim our victory. And there we go. Our victory is proof of heaven's approval. Nice bit of loot there as well. And let's go ahead and uh, take the replenishment. So yeah, we lost 979. So we still have about 2,500 men remaining. He lost uh, as many men as we have left. And uh, looking at the kills here, 541 and 533 for these two generals. So really good idea to have them running down the enemy. But high kills on a couple of my archer units as well. 191 there. Uh, but yeah, they got absolutely wrecked. Except for uh, the crossbows did well, but this one getting 238 kills. To action. And unfortunately... Since he did escape... Oh, hold on. Subservience to the people. Abandon your saintliness. Put away your prudence, and the people will gain a hundredfold. We've studied the scriptures and have taken our step toward enlightenment. What shall we study next? The siege progresses, but our assaulting force grow weary and supplies run low. A new nearby village, loyal and abundant in resources, could possibly aid us. Shall we call on them to help? Minus 10 for Peng Cheng. But we would get War Fervor. Yes, call in reinforcements, absolutely. Uh, Peng Cheng is... Which city is loyal to us? I'm not sure. Maybe it's this here? The Pengcheng farmland? Because the Pengcheng, the actual city, is owned by Wang Lang, so that's kind of funny. What does it look like if we went in? Decisive victory. I think we could just delegate that. Probably take way less casualties delegating it than I would by fighting it myself. Those towers. And uh, let's go ahead and occupy it. Only by growth. Faction Regency Wang Lang. While a new era has taken over the faction, they are as yet too young to control it. They must rely on the integrity of their court officials and administrators until they come of age. And there is Peng Cheng. So, how many turns until we are completely healed? Three turns. I can recruit a couple of extra units, though, which would be good. Uh, the Yellow Turban Spear is doing really well. Um, what's the difference between these guys here? These white wave veterans are much better, but they are very expensive. And that's the people's war band, so that's eh, they're not the best. Having a couple more spears would be good in this force. But also, oh, I'd love to have some more cav. But the generals seem to do well. So, uh, and cav probably won't be as useful in a settlement battle. We can afford that if we do do that.
and then I say we push on, because, uh, oh, it will take two turns, actually. So, I mean, their public order seems to be fine. What happens if I move out, though? Oh, I can't actually even this turn. So yeah, 300 gold. It's all we're making per turn, but I mean, it's better than nothing. Uh, let's go ahead and repair the temple. Which will give us enlightenment, research rate, faction-wide, and economic building construction reduction costs. That is very useful. And I have no idea what the garrison is here, but it's going to be... It's a small city, so it's going to be tough. It's going to have walls. So we might have to do maybe the same thing. And uh, force them to come out onto a land battle. And what's going on here? Oh, my army's trespassing. Uh, okay, I can... Since we're doing so well over on this flank, uh, I'll actually pull back to the town. And the public order is starting to increase just a bit now, which is good. Is there any other building I can do? Well, we have some general skill points, which is good. Fire arrows. This gives a lot. Post-battle loot, melee, own retinue. Yeah, let's go for that. That seems very good. And this general. So public order. Encourage. Ranged armor piercing damage. Ranged damage. Yes. That is very good. So, did that increase their range now? What, occurred in my absence. what do you wish, my lord? Can't really tell. Maybe it doesn't apply till next turn. Anyways. Uh, does this guy down here want peace now? Because as I said, not interested in going against him at the moment. Our patience is thin. Never. You're only becoming extremely strong, but why would I want peace with you? Okay, so we have the temple. Good. Uh, we've got some friends. We fought side by side in battle. Together, we utterly de devastated the enemy's forces. Yes, we did. It's kind of funny that these two guys are like twin brothers. They're like almost exactly the same. Well, they are exactly the same character. Uh, killed in battle, Wang Lang is dead. Killed in battle, Jiang Ji. And Kang Qingmen is taken over. We got the reinforcements we needed, which is excellent. And uh, actually, I should check the ancillaries for these guys. Make sure they've got everything they need. Is there a better weapon for him, actually? That axe is pretty good. We could give that to him. Or hang on. Is that the character at the court? Yeah, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Where did his spear go? There it is. Take that back. Oh, no. Hold on. Oh, I can't grab that back. Okay, give, give, uh, give that to him for now. I meant uh, this general here, because he has a staff. It has no armor-piercing damage. This does, so let's give let's give that to him. And then this general here, he also has a staff. Let's give him the spear. Pei Wansha, what is he fighting with? One of these. Yeah, you should probably have something a little better, buddy.
72 melee damage, armor piercing. Really? Wow. All right, we'll leave. We'll leave him with that then, I suppose. I am at one again. He has the silver swords here. Fair enough, I think that is good enough. All right, so let's see what Wang Lang does here. Oh, hang on, we've got uh, another reform we can choose. Income from looting and post-battle loot income would be good, but let's check over here, see if there's anything for our archers. I did see that one there. Or, I mean, unlocking buildings would obviously be very good as well. Minus two mustering turns, plus two replenishment, yes. Let's go for that. Immovable, while resettling the people, your attendant comes upon an issue and requests your judgment. A couple living in the local area have refused to move, claiming that this has been their home for generations. What should we do? This choice requires that you have the following traits, so I can't actually do them. <laughs> so I have to force them to move. Okay. Yeah, troops carry the couple to, uh, to the settlement site. Fair enough. Home gladdens the heart. Okay, so this is going to take, uh, looks like, two turns to get there. Maybe not. Let's push over here and see what they have. A waste of time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't mean to do that. No. So there's a very weak contingent there. What's the garrison? Oh, that's so weak. We could just take that now. Uh, demand surrender. Hold on, what's this? By tunneling beneath the defenses, a crafty attacker can overcome any wall. Nice. They will not give up the settlement. Well, that's that's going to be their downfall then. We'll just continue the siege for now. Good, so we've made some really good progress over there, and that should actually destroy one of our enemies completely. Because uh, Cao Cao down here we're actually not at war with. And man, this guy Tao Quan actually has a level 6 settlement here. I'm actually not as terrified of level 4 settlements now if they're going to be that easy to take. Maybe I will move up north here with Summon the merchants. with uh, this army. I'm just very wary of doing so because I killed Louis Bay, so these guys probably absolutely hate us. Yeah, they're unfriendly. War atrocities against us, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, very good. I don't think there's anything we can build. If I uh, take a look at... Where's all my settlements? Yeah, so here we go. So we're building these two to the small cities. Nothing to really build here. Because everything's too expensive. Man, it will be nice to take this, that's for sure. My blade and actually, poised. one more turn until these settlements are... F oh, wait. One more turn till that's done. Three more turns for this one. Interesting. I thought they were the same... The same time. Oh, well. Alright, let's do one more end turn, and then we're going to end the episode for today. See if they actually come out against us. The cause cries out for warriors like you. Hyun Shu. Uh, no. Ever onwards, regardless. Yes. Not picking a fight with anyone else right now. Oh, and they are coming out, really. 
Yeah, we can easily stomp that, but we're going to save this battle for the next episode, guys. So thank you so much for watching. We're making some really good progress with Pei Huan Xiao, and I hope you are enjoying it as much as I am. But thanks so much for watching again. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, and I will see you in the next one.